I move my things. Does that work? Hey, yo, what's up? It's, I don't know if that's going to work. Can y'all see this shit? It's Christine. I know I'm sideways on Instagram. I'm sorry about that, but that's how it's going to be. Uh, because that's, oh, I'm going to put my light on. Yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Christine. I'm going to try to show y'all some shit today because the world that's two cameras here i don't i think this is okay on my heart i don't instagrams are working hold on y'all i gotta make sure i think the the <laughs> i think there's a lot there's people watching too on on youtube i guess i said hello uh, if it doesn't work Oh, hey, it works on, someone said hello from Italy, you poor, poor shit. People watching from Italy. Y'all, I know things are rough out there, so we're going to do this rough and hard. It's murder shit about time, and this is a beautiful episode. It's called My Johnny Lies Over the Ocean, and it stars an amazing cast of Vicky Lawrence, Leslie, uh, <laughs> Leslie Ann Warren. She wishes Joanne Worley, Leslie Nielsen. I'm fucking uh, Jessica Fletcher. Uh, so uh, this is all about what I'm going to do is, first of all, everybody, this is a patriarchal free room. So we're going to start off. If, if YouTube kicks me off for this, just go to Instagram. Patriarchal free room. So we're going to fucking not allow any of the patriarchy in this room right now. So this is a fucking, oh, this is a patriarchy fucking free extravaganza. So matriarchy is the key to the future. And that's what old Jessica Fletcher lives for. So matriarchal room here, Jessica Fletcher. What I'm going to do is break this shit down for y'all. And I'm going to let y'all understand what the fuck is going on in this episode. So that it will relate to your life <laughs> and you can watch this and hopefully understand what the fuck's going on at home with all you poor shits out there. So without further ado, I'm going to start this. This is a VCR, bitches. I'm going to start this. I'm going to um, push. Mm, so I'm going to hit episode. Look at her. Episode index. Here we go. And there they are. And this is my Johnny Lies Over the Ocean. Here we go, motherfuckers. And I'm going to select it. And, and, and then we're going to go through. And I'm going to break it down. I'm gonna, oh, shit. That's not right. I'm going to turn it up real good. It's probably going to be too loud. So this is my Johnny Lies Over the Ocean. And I have recast the characters to fit your, uh, your, hi, Aaron Flynn, you stupid. Uh, your uh, world in the coronavirus. It's really exciting. I'm going to get rid of this knife because I don't need it anymore. Maybe unless Pickles, Pickles is sleeping in the next room. Okay. Here we go. It's starting. Fuck me. Yes! This is uh, corporate America. This is uh, a fucking uh, uh, company that runs movies. We don't need them anymore. Get out of my face. Uh, this is gonna be so bad, y'all. Okay, can y'all hear it? Okay, I'm gonna turn it up some more. I'm gonna turn it up. Can you hear? Okay, this is just a preview. Preview. Seriously suggesting that someone is trying to kill you? Leslie Nielsen. Call it the jinx. Vicky Lawrence. Joanne Wiley. This moment, I have one for you. I'm going to show you my old chipotle. That's the one thing I've been dying to see. Can y'all hear it? Okay, y'all. Okay, then listen up, everybody. This one woman, Pamela, is the lead in this episode. Pamela is going to be representing every woman, not every man, because this is a patriarchal free room. Every woman is represented. All of us are represented by Pamela. 
Now, granted, she does she does not represent us the way she looks. Cause fuck me if I had hair like Pamela, and her skin color is not for everybody, and her fucking wardrobe choices are sure as fuck not for everybody. But Pamela is every woman, which is all of us. And Jessica Fletcher, well, we'll get to her in a bit. Oh, hold on. This is the thing. Uh, hold on. I'm all close. I just got to hurry up and let y'all know. I brought uh, my water. And to uh, have a good time for this, I suggest everyone. I This is Mama's Medicine. It's a tincture of special herbs. I like to put in my water. Whenever I'm having a very busy day, I'm going to salute everybody out there who does this live shit. Fuck me, Jesus. It's more scary than getting on stage and spitting and pissing on y'all. Okay, now I'm ready. And I also got some mayonnaise sandwiches for everybody. Okay, I'm going to start it again. Fuck me. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, y'all, that's Pamela. Pamela is every woman. Now, this is the beginning of 2020. Okay, hold on. I'm going to make it work. Fuck me, Jesus. Play. Okay, this is 2020, y'all. Look, she's gonna dive into 2020. Woo! She's diving into a swimming pool of 2020, y'all. Everything's wonderful. This is January, February 2020. You know, uh, middle of February. She's just swimming in the waters of 2020, just like all of us were. She's having a wonderful fucking time swimming through 2020, right? She's like, nothing's bad here. Uh, everything's cool. And then she gets out of the water. You know, 2020, still kicking her up in the fucking ass. Oh, she's fixing a pretty fucking nasty hair. This is us. Pamela is everybody. Everybody. Now, there's a heartbeat pumping. She's walking into the house. Guess what? It's mid-February. It's March. It's March now. She's walking into her fucking next month of 2020. Here she goes, runs inside. Fuck me, Jesus. She's like, what's going on? Something's wrong with 2020. And then, bam, motherfucker, dead person on the floor. 2020, this is March, y'all. It has big guns. It has big guns. She's like, oh, fuck, what's up? And then there's some lesbian nurse who's trying to help her. Poor Pamela is fucked up. This is the beginning of the year, y'all. She doesn't know what to do. She, look at her hair. Look at her hair. Now we have this. Two, what? This is two, two white men, old white men, deciding what they're going to do with Pamela, us. I'm tired of that. Get rid of the patriarchy. So these two motherfuckers, how many times have we seen these old white men telling us what to do? Keep it combined. It could lead to a permanent dependency on this institution. Or dependency on institutions. They're going to put her on a cruise, y'all. Surprise, surprise. We're going to go on a cruise ship. We're going to go take a boat ride. Nothing gonna happen on a cruise, right? In 2020. So she's gonna curl up. So these two old dirty men, these dirty white men, are gonna try to tell Pammy what to do, right? Now, this man, fuck him. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this man, the white man, dirty old, old, crusty man. Boom, here we go. White limo pulling up. That's the first dangerous sign. Our next characters are coming in, and they are scrawny, nasty, very rich, very creepy white people. Look at that shit. And he's got a toupee, too. Look at that scrawny witch. Here they come out of the limousine. They look at the boat. They say, this is ours. The boat. The boat represents the world. Oh, she's nasty. Toupee. To pay. So these are nasty people. We don't trust them. They're nasty, rich, scrawny ass, crusty white people. Pamela and Jessica Fletcher. Jessica. I'm gonna pause this in. Oh, she getting locked. I get locked jaw when I suck cock and shoe on her foot. Uh, this is Jessica Fletcher, y'all. Praise Jeebus, Jessica. Now, she is going <laughs> to look at that face. Jessica represents justice. She's justice, y'all. She's trying to help Pamela, us. 
all of it. I did a lot of work on this, y'all, because I got a monkey brain and I have to explain my, my life to y'all. So Jessica's justice and Pamela's us and these crusty old white men are gonna put Pamela and Justice on a boat. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Here we go. Oh yay! And that's the paparazzi taking pictures and everything. Please don't be patient like that. I'm wondering you can survive. Oh look, crusty rich white woman takes camera from the press. Uh, well, and it's going to take pictures of all of them. Justice Jessica fucking Fletcher. How's everybody uh, doing out there? I see some calm. It's no poor Mr. Dildo. Oh, that's late. Um, there she goes. She's taking a picture. She can't do it right. There's our beautiful people. Yikes. 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 Dad, you could That's a daddy. Don't worry about that. That's actually Jessica Fletcher's brother. And this bitch is daddy. I don't know. Jessica Fletcher has lots of family. Uncles, aunts, nieces and nephews. Some people call Jessica Fletcher the white widow. They think that she's the one going around killing everybody. That's fucking law. That's called... Uh, uh, what do you call that? I don't know the word. Those radio people. Okay, here we go. This, oh my God. Y'all, that's Biggie Lawrence pulling up in this car. Biggie Lawrence and fucking Joanne Worley represent the consumer corporate people of the world, a.k.a. the United States. These are the consumers. These are the every freaking body else besides Pepper in the U.S. Biggie Lawrence! Joanne Wiley! Look at that red coat. She looks good. They're, they're freaking out. They got all their money. And they got their purses. And they want to get on the fucking boat. Which represents the boat represents the world. So they ripped it. There they go. Because of small her ta -tas off. It's like a running run. They're running on the boat too. So Joanne Wiley and... and, and Biggie Lawrence are on the boat, which is the world, and Pamela is us. Here we go. Justice is walking with us down the boat. I slept on that boat once. I did. This nerd's gonna walk up in a little bit. That little shit bag. So he represents hope. He's hope, y'all. He's little, and he keeps bumping in, and he's hope, hope for, for us and for justice. So here we go. There's hope. That little, little nerd. He's never had a dick in his hand in his life. Okay. Not even his own. Very sorry. So there he goes. School um, teacher. Gotta be. Justice you know, and... I didn't love you so much. I resent that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they go. Off we go. Now, Pamela. Oh, this woman. This is such, I was so delighted to learn that you were this woman looks like, I just believe This woman looks like Pamela Anderson's butthole. Look at that shit. Oh my God. Pamela Anderson's butthole with a mouth. And she represents uh, the, uh, the uh, press secretary, like a White House press briefing. She's, she's terrible. She's trying to screw up justice already. Justice walked into the boat, into the world, and here's the press secretary. And from the big thing in the big house, he's trying to fuck it all up, fuck it all up bad. So it's uh, <laughs> oh, so that's what's happening there. Uh, there's us. That's that's every woman, Pamela, putting on makeup as we do. They're just gonna talk for a while. Got a cookie. Now look, she's crying. That's us. Pammy, Pammy darling is crying. She's looking at a letter. I'm sorry, I just, I started reading Johnny's letter again. Uh-uh. It's the one he left for me. I'm not sure. She's reading Johnny's letter. Johnny is her husband who killed himself before they boarded the fucking plague boat. And John, Johnny over the ocean, duh, the title. <laughs> and then, um... Oh, justice is taking care of us. But uh, so Pamela, the lesson learning here is when we're on the boat and the ship's going down, 
Don't go digging in the past. So Don't go reading letters and shit. The world has changed, y'all. There's nothing that's gonna be the same when we get off this fucking boat, this plague boat, dead boat. So Amala should not be reading letters from the back. And she is. So all y'all out there, don't go digging in the past. Move forward and did the present and the forward. Fuck the past. Get on to it. Unless there's some crimes in the past that some people committed that we need to pull back up so we can fuck them up. She cries a lot. And she should not be using that toilet paper on her face because there's no more toilet paper left in the world. Pamela, put the fucking toilet paper down. Like you were the it should have been perfect. Ah, oh, shut up, Pamela. Oh, <laughs> they talk a lot. It's kind of lesbianic. I like it. In a marriage? Oh, that's absurd. But you're the great. Now you're not. We're very happy. This boat's going to get fucked up. Y'all got to stick with me on this. You understand? See, the truth is that Shit's really going to go to, to hell. You know intimately. And then that's justice time to tell us that things are gonna be all okay. Let alone another person. I want you to read Johnny's letter. She oh, wants justice to I read the letter from the past. Please. I don't, you know, I fuck this shit. So uh, if anybody is at home, you should make a mayonnaise sandwich. And for all the vegans out there, I put a piece of cheese. Oh shit. Oh, this be. person coming in is a lobbyist. He's a lobbyist. He's gonna try to bribe justice. No, no, oh, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna bribe him with liquor, money, and he's Italian. Oh, uh, Severino, he's Italian. That's my friend Severino from Hoist Meets Disco. He's a, he is looking for sex. He's gonna use sex. He's gonna use money. He's gonna use liquor. He's gonna do every fucking thing he fucking can. To fucking get justice to bend for him. <laughs> oh shit. Watch this. She just shit a pan. Ooh. Shit again. Bon voyage, Pepper. Have a lovely trip. Bon voyage, Pepper. Pepper. It was a pet name Johnny had for me. Ooh. No one else ever called me that. She had a, her husband had a pet name for her and called her Pepper. I bet her pussy was peppery too. Now we're back on the boat. Here comes Joanne Worley and Vicky Lawrence. These two broads are representing corporate consumerism. They're looking for rich oil barons to fuck on the boat. And they are going to do all they can to fuck these people. Uh, and make some money. The sea breeze. They did not come here for the sea breeze. I got sea breeze coming out of my ass right now. They are going to get some money like all the Americans do. Here come the crusty, crusty, nasty, crusty, crusty, rich, dangerous white people. These dirty, crusty, dangerous white people are hiding under the umbrella of the. Uh, Complicit Republican Party. <laughs> I wrote all that down because I don't know what it is. Now, see, the two rich white motherfuckers are trying to get their claws into justice. Jessica Fletcher. Mrs. Fletcher is quite a well known author. Oh, yeah. Oh, how wonderful. George says all the reading the family. Jessica writes books, murder books. We don't want to destroy. I'm sure we'll see more of each other over the next few days. I'm okay. sure you will. They got numbers at the table. Uh, a number on the table and a boat. That's a cheap ass boat. Well, if you're anxious to have extra mm. company, what about um while they talking? Y'all, I'm taking tips. Oh, I even so wrote this shit backwards. Look at that. Venmo, call swallow. PayPal me, call swallow. I'm going to hold it here so y'all can read it. Oh, fuck it. That's, don't forget to tip me. I'll make a post when this is done to make some dough because the man is not giving me shit. That's my little Venmo and that's my PayPal. Oh, fuck. Now we're having another problem here, y'all. 2020 is not Tonight's looking good. Tonight's special. Chicken breast stuff with chopped chop walnuts. Chicken breast stuff with chopped walnuts. That was the, the fucking dinner that uh, 
that uh, they say to hold it higher. Is that what? Oh, I see. I'm holding it higher. That's for the, someone's telling me to hold it lower. Oh, shit. Something wrong with us. That pepper ran away. There you go. There you go. Hold it up. There you go. There you go. Okay, back to the king. Look at that queen. Not. Um, pepper. Us. Pepper are having a problem. My niece received anonymous champagne. She received anonymous champagne. If some fucker brought me anonymous champagne, I would drink the fucking anonymous champagne and then I would shove the bottle up my butt with the cork on. Always put the cork on because if you put a empty bottle up your butt without a cork, it'll suck out your intestines. There's the press secretary from the White House again. Behind. That's Pamela Anderson's butthole with a mouth. I don't think so. Her. We haven't opened it yet. Oh, yes, here we are. Watch, there's nothing in the phone. Um, it's not signed. May this, I see that? This press secretary lady is always trying to fuck up Jessica Fletcher. Justice. Always trying to wreck justice. Watch, she says, I'm going to take this. Jessica's bossy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Not even her. Watch. I'm going to keep this, she said. She took a document from a boat office and said, I'm going to keep this. She's not even a fucking police person. I love her so much. Okay, this is us, y'all. Now we're going into April. April's not looking good for anybody, okay? That's us, every woman, walking around the ship at night. Shit's happening bad. There's old Justice checking out that bottle. The bottle she got. Jessica Fletcher is one tough fucking troll. And she can, she can smell. She's like, this smells like those drugs I used to do in high school when I was banging on them gang bangs. Someone's whispering, pepper, pepper pe pe pussy. That's a pussy. She's, uh, this is us, 2020. On the boat. Things are not good. March is now going into... A April, <laughs> April, and we are interrupted by corporate America. That's Joanne Worley. Oh shit, that's Joanne Worley. She's hitting on an oil baron. That motherfucker represents an oil baron because he is a fucking oil baron. She wants to get in his wallet. She wants to dip through his taunt name name. This way, it's my niece. She's very pretty blonde. I remember from the dining room. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm sorry, I have it. Oh shit! Somebody's screaming. Vicky Lawrence is fucking screaming because look, Pepper is on the floor. Someone threw her down the stairs of 2020, y'all. Pepper's on the floor. The culprit is around the boat. His hope. That's a little nerd. That little homo nerd we saw on the on the dock earlier. He's helping her out. Yes. I can't no, even see this on screen. You say that someone pushed you. She's already told us that. Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen represents the court, the judicial system, whatever the fuck that means. He's a courtroom. He's a, on the boat. At least that's what I thought I heard. Pepper. So I is talking to Leslie. When I got to the top, oh, shut up. I think someone grabbed Look at that hair. If anyone doesn't know what to do with their hair mm -hmm. doing quarantine, I mean, Pepper sure. just cuts the top of it and then the, the rest sure. of it grow long. It so, so all you people out there with long hair, leave it long and mm -hmm. just cut the top and make it short. Uh, I promise it. it'll be really good yeah, looking for the next long. year. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. Leslie Nielsen acting serious is like um, it's like a monkey driving a car. It don't work. Then I think that you and I should speak privately. Uh oh. Okay. Yes, the handwriting appears to be identical. Either that or it's an expert forgery. And the one. Well, it's in This is justice, oh, which is the word. Are you seriously suggesting? That someone is trying to kill your niece? Yes, she is. She's being terrorized. They're talking a lot about bullshit. I'm going to hold this up. Yes, but oh, this is for... Narrow the list there we go. That's a Venmo and that's PayPal. I'm trying to get employment. 
Some grant. All kinds of crap that my friend hooked me up with. I don't know what the fuck it means. Nothing. So this is all good stuff here for you to tip this old witch. Now still talking justice in the court system. Leslie Nielsen hates Jessica Fletcher. Uh, Mrs. Fletcher, I, I find myself Mrs. in a very awkward position. Uh, I'm quite concerned about your niece's safety, but no shit. I shudder to think how many passengers might react if they thought that a potential killer was running loose. Boom! He represents the courts. The boat is the world. He is now concerned that if he announces that the us, Pepper, is in trouble and getting pushed downstairs, that the other people are going to get uh, angry. Well, fuck me, Jesus. That's the same thing that happened here. They were afraid we would get afraid. But my niece is this is a very there. exciting episode, y'all. I, I hope y'all got time today. As long as she's on this ship. <laughs> it's only going to be a little long, bro. I got nothing to do. This is the boat again. <laughs> Jessica oh, walks around like, oh, it's the crusty. Those are the crusty, crusty, crusty white people who have money. They're in power. These crusty people are hiding under the evil round umbrella of the darkness of the world. And it's complicit with the Republicans. Maybe I'll let the Senate tell you to Maybe I'm still. Oh, I don't know. You're not the least bit. That man behind them represents love. He's watching them and he's he's representing love. Love. That's all good. I went to the, I got a nice story about love. I went to the post office today to mail some bricks to my friend Todd. And I'm making some commemorative bricks right now, y'all. And I'm going to have them in my art, art world soon. And there's a lady at the post office today. I had no tape for my box. And she bought some tape. And she said, you may use my tape. And we had our gloves on and our masks. I let her cut in line previously. And then she let me use her tape. And I thought that that was a kind gesture today. And I made it in a good mood to talk to all these fucks out there. Yes, no. but Johnny heard from her. That's the real mother. Yes, a couple of months before. She's just before talking died, bullshit. She sent him an I didn't know at the time. He told me all this much later. She wanted to meet him. He went. She never showed up. He never heard from her again. Damn, they talk a lot. But he never followed it up on his own. Well, he thought about it. But I... I think he was hey John, oh, I'm gonna look at comments while they fucking talking. Pretty pussy, y'all are dirty. Saki from the fridge. Hi, Lily. Ask Queen John Lee Bird. Who are these people? Bird, Bill, Bug, heartwarming. Shut up, Pepper. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's Hope again. His poor little man. They started him off with glasses. Now he ain't got no glasses. That means hope is getting hot, y'all. And it smells the pepper. He, did, he, he needs to get laid so bad. I would love to put my dick in his mouth for five minutes to just get him warmed up for pepper. Oh, now that he just as realizes that us, pepper, is hanging out with hope. So... Justice, Jessica is like, boom, I'm out of here, y'all. She's going to let them do the nine nine. Let them do the nine nine. I had no idea. She's talking to the doctors. All of our healthcare doctors out there, nurses, doctors, working so hard. I love you every night at 7 o'clock, and I love you right fucking now. Y'all are the saviors. This Jessica Justice is talking to a doctor, trying to figure the fuck out while the while the courts. That's the doctors. That's the doctors. Bang your pots and pans with the fucking doctor. And she's Justice Jessica is trying to find out from the doctors what the fuck is going on on this boat. Cause she's wrong. She's nosy. Yes to the doctors. Yes to the fucking doctors. She's bossing them around. Thank you. 
Can't believe this fucking boat can't supply the doctors. Wow. Ooh. Why love? The courts were just sitting down on their ass while justice was talking to the doctors. Deranged woman is responsible for What did you fucking call me? You called me a deranged woman. Asshole. Oh, I brought some chocolate too, y'all. We got chocolate. Tickles is sleeping. I might bring him in later. So they're doing that. They don't see what's up on here. Y'all got some pretty pussy. Just because they love. Y'all quotes so so cute. I know, I know, I know, I know. Who's in here? Uh, there are so many wonderful people out there. I hope this is making y'all feel better. Because that's the only reason I wanted to do this. So try to make y'all giggle a little bit. Make your butthole tingle a little bit. And I love murder she wrote. And it's the only thing. I love it so much. Look, I got it on my, on my leg. Look at that. Murder she wrote on my leg. My fucking leg. My friend Sarah Gregory made that for me. Uh, she tattooed it. She's in London. Ooh, I straddled that chair too hard. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Um, that's justice talking to the court again, trying to figure shit out. A little more of this. You know what? I'm just going to skip the drink and put the medicine in my mouth. That's much better. There's Hope. Look at this now. Hope is walking with us. And behind Hope is love. That means shit's coming together, y'all. Ain't so bad. Here comes the lobbyist trying to bribe justice again. This man is really nasty. He's always trying to fuck Jessica Fletcher. And in season one, they didn't know what the fuck to do with Jessica Fletcher. They didn't know if she was a sexual being. They didn't know if she was a dried up old prune with a mouth. <laughs> they didn't know if she was just a pair of feet in a wig. And they were testing out a lot of things with Jessica Fletcher at the beginning in season one, which is this. So, here we go. There goes the bay, the bailiff, the law, lobbyist. He's, trying to do so. These fuckers are still walking. Another good thing that uh, Jessica Fletcher does, Angela Lansbury, is that she always gave jobs to her bestest friends. Always. Somebody says, uh, Michael Carson says, I've been looking forward to this for all caps days. You poor shit. That makes me laugh. I've been looking forward to this for minutes. Oh shit. On the microphone. Peppa, 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 Peppa. And Peppa's like, what the fuck? How did that fucking troll in the office know that my name was Peppa? Y'all, remember how I got really bad about two days ago? Like, really bad? Watch this shit. Are you doing this to me? That's the press secretary. That's Pepper. That's us. Pepper is us. This is us rolling into this week that we're in right now. When the shit hits the fan. When that son of a bitch is trying to close borders and shit. Watch this. This is us. Monday. Johnny. Monday. Here we go. Oh, no. It's Monday. Bam. On the floor. <laughs> she woke up in a pile of shit stew. And now she's back in the hotel. Here's Justice trying to help her out. Here's us, Peppa, in the bed again. And it's really uh, a hard time. It's a really hard time for us. Justice is trying all they can to help us out. The judge is here, the court. Some other gay man who's hanging out in the court. And um, nothing's really going to happen right now. <laughs> Because they're just going to talk about it. I think we should have a talk with Miss Sherry. Justice wants I to have a talk with the court. Here we go. They're going to try to get I information out of the press secretary, uh, a.k.a. Pamela uh, Anderson's butthole. Yes. That's a Pamela. The court. Is that necessary? Yes, it's necessary. Which? Jeffrey Wyndham. He's an attorney, but please don't call his house his wife will answer. Oh, please don't call his house his wife will answer. So she Did you check it out? Ooh, this thing just kicking in like a honky donkey. Several days ago. Here we go. With orders to delay transmission until this morning. The center remained anonymous. 
I don't know what she's talking about. She's jibber jabbing, jibber jabbing. And this is the lobbyist. So now we have the courts. We have the spokesperson for the press. We have the lobbyist. And we have justice all in a room together. What do you think is going to fucking happen? There's justice going. I don't know. Um, that's a lot of uh, things in one room, kind of like what we're dealing with right now, with a bunch of idiots in a room trying to determine what the fuck we're going to do with our lives. They're going to the dining room. Why are they doing that? These are my old. <laughs> this is to tip this old witch because I'm broke. If you want to tip and get me some more medicine tincture and some food for tippers pickers. Y'all can go jump on this shit and y'all can throw some dough my way so I can feed pickles and myself and I can get more medicine tincture and I can pay the bills in this house and squad man. Here we go. Now this is the truth, y'all. Angela Lansbury, Jessica fucking Fletcher, aka Justice. This is Joanne Worley from Laughing. This is Vicky Lawrence, Mama's family. This is Stop Name Phoebe. Um, Jessica Fletcher, Angela Lansbury, always gave her friends wood. So it's like if they were out of money, she'd put them in murder. She wrote. She'd write them a little character role, and she'd let them perform so that they could make some fucking love. Twenty four. Hate when you say they just said she's 44 years old. Ain't no potato looks like 44 years old like that. I don't know who all's hanging out still. Probably not too many. They're just sitting at a table talking. While they talk a little bit, uh, things have been real hard for a lot of people out there, and I understand that. I've been uh, listening to a lot of my friends talk, and everybody needs to hang on to each other and get through all this shit together and do whatever you can. Uh, to make each other feel good wherever you are in the world. I thought that a dose of Jessica Fletcher and murder she wrote would make everybody feel a little bit better as it does with having more before I go to bed at night. This is an episode called My Johnny Lies Over the Ocean. Please don't want. Pickles Pickles is asleep and I might bring him in here in just a little bit. What? They call it the jinx shit. I don't know what the fuck she's That's talking why about. Shit the shit's about to go down. That's why we were all so, uh, Pepper, I'm <laughs> getting so tinctured. Pepper is in a bed, us, Pepper, sick in a bed on the boat of 2020. This is Justice talking to Consumer America, a.k.a. Jessica Fletcher, Joanne Worley, Vicky Lauren. And they said use it or lose it. I don't know what they're but talking about. that was last week. We had to Friday to take our vacation. Shut up. We had to turn okay. Oh, I brought some but chocolate, too. We about to do that. I got chocolate. Always That's keep right. sweets around for you in case well, your blood sugar goes low, worry. shall they? Anyway, I'm sorry. You're getting Or if you just want some chocolate. Time. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. Oh, Mr. Reed, I was just looking for you. Oh. Nice meeting you. That's the scrawny, rich, crusty man with a toupee. When he shows up, you know evil is near. She wants to talk to the scrawny rich wife lady. Watch this shit. The, the scrawny nasty, nasty nasty man are going to find his nasty wife. But well, guess what the fuck? Boom! 2020, middle of April, nearing the end. Someone is dead. The wife is dead. So the scrawny, dirty, wild, nasty, rich white people on the boat are causing a lot of trouble for justice. The courts are here now, too. Leslie Nielsen is the courts. That's some gay actor. I don't know who he is, but he's having a good time. Um, Leslie Nielsen does not like his serial role. I'm sorry, sir. And that's not, the lobbyist who's trying to co corrupt everybody. But then I don't have to back seat. Where's her husband? Oh, Senora Fletcher, she took her back to her cabin. Hey, Dirk, uh, number three. That's the worst accent I've ever heard on there in my life. So here we are. This is the rich man with a toupee. 
Shit is now going down, everybody. Shit is now getting really, really fucking serious. No. We're about to experience uh, some shit where... With her late wow. husband. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just we go. also found those hidden away in her luggage. They were all very Yeah, 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 yeah. All taken with a telephoto lens. Telephoto lens. Must have been the husband's real mother. Shit, I've been on here for 40 minutes. Y'all are There's very nice there. people. It's a sample of Johnny's handwriting and also. Well, basically, what's happening here awesome. is justice and the courts uh, are coming me. down on the I nasty, crusty, rich me. man. Yeah. And they're is about to fuck him up. The authorities will not know exactly Justice on this. Jessica Fletcher is like, I know what the fuck is going on here. Certainly nothing about Look at that toupee. This. So here we go. A couple of hours ago, we were out sunning on the deck. Oh, shut up. I realize now I... I'm moving forward a little bit. He talks so fucking much. So much. Look at him jibber jabbing. Jibber 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 jabbing. Jabber jibber jibber jabber jibber jibber jabber jibber jabber There we go. Okay. This down. She's talking to the doctors again. She's like, y'all got to no, get the we're, we're fuck on this boat. Shit is going but down. Pepper's in a bed. Some There's dirty no old man with a toupee has lost his mind. Yeah. And there's, uh, he's rich. 26 and years ago, my niece's late husband, John Craig, was born to a 17-year-old high school student named Andrea Jeffries. What? Jeffries. <laughs> my wife's maiden name. Oh. Well. Sure. That's it then. We'll be in port first thing tomorrow morning. I don't so know what the fuck is going take on. Charge of the situation. I'm sure that there'll actually be some uh, routine. While they talk, I'm so going to go get uh, a surprise for y'all. Well, Hold on, y'all y'all stay right here. Yeah, I'm going to get a surprise. If you don't need any more, I understand. I'm going to get a surprise. Uh, I will have our person with Shelly find another cabin for you to use this evening. It's very fun. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, this is Tickers Pickers, and he wanted to come say hello because there's some boring shit on the screen. Tickers Pickers hates y'all right now because I just woke him up from his nap. But right now, Jessica Fletcher is talking to the rich, white, dirty man with a two head, and uh, shit's going down. And she's going to get real wise to this son of a bitch. And she's going to start telling that son of a bitch that she's on to him. And he's going to fuck her ex I'm going to turn this way so he can be more comfortable. Excuse me. Yeah. So, that's us. That's Peppa. Peppa is... Oh. Like, she yes. fuck this boat. She wants to get the oh. fuck off this boat. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. There's Tickles, Tickles. Peppa's and like, get me off this just really fucking, fucking yes. boat. She was. Oh. oh, I feel so sorry for her. Tickles is gonna help me hold up this song. Like that. I'm happy. That's for me and Tickles to eat. Please help me and Tickles eat food. Please send money so we can eat food. Me and Tickles, Tickles. It's a oh, hard knock life I, below tickets. By her husband. He has a cold. I've been giving him medicine. Not sure how to prove it. So here we go, y'all. This what is the last are fucking just, chapter of this fucking episode. Now, now Jessica fucking Fletcher is justice talking to the court system and she's saying, look, motherfucker, this shit has got to stop. We've got to get off this fucking boat. We've got to get Pepper into a very safe place and we've got to get my justice executed properly. Oh, Tickles, look at it. He loves y'all. Tickles brings me a lot of uh, joy, y'all. He wants to kill me. He likes his nose, man. God, they're still talking so much. This is so long. Let's get down to the Jessica Fletcher is going to act drunk, y'all. She's going to drink fake wine and go talk to the rich people, and she's going to watch this shit. She's going to act. She's going to act drunk. Boop boop. Nighttime. There's the rich man sitting in his house. Now watch this shit. 
Jessica Fletcher is going to come to that. the door, the and she's going to act drunk, and she's going to put a chapeau on her head. It's terrible. Occupancy rate. <gasps> Here she comes. This is Jessica Fletcher acting drunk, y'all. It's terrible. Yeah, let's watch this shit. That's what I wear when I get drunk. A trench coat, a scarf, and a man's hat. The fuck is she wearing? Oh, God. And when I drink like that, the side of my mouth goes down like that. She is a real actress, y'all. Murder. 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 The fuck is she doing? I love when Jessica Fletcher acts drunk and tries to win the day. That do y'all wear clothes like that when you get drunk? Do you go put on a, a um JC Penny trench coat? And a hat, and do y'all uh, fucking put a saw on on a boat? He's getting over this shit. Excuse me. I've been drinking. Oh, the last four digits of my Venmo? Uh, 3413. Oh, there goes Tickles, Pickles. Sort of Did you just say, don't worry about it. Three, four, one, three. Oh, I'm going to look so at some much. comments. Hi, y'all. Remember when you told me what Tickles knows I all about this shit. Yes, he does. Uh, I, not, I don't know. Pictures. Carrie Atwood, I see you on there. Yeah, it's almost over, y'all. This episode's about to end, and then you won't see me for so long. This is the future. <laughs> This is the future. For all of you who ever came out to a live show on a stage, I love you. But this is how you're going to get me from now on. Murder, she wrote. I love y'all. And thank you for helping out. She's still, she's playing drunk. She's trying to get the rich man bust. Zero. Let's see him. I'm shameless. I'm broke. <laughs> so this is the ending, y'all. She's tempting the rich, dirty, scabby white man who's collecting the boat that we're on. She's going to tease him and trick him and get him to come out of his room. And she's going to bring him onto the deck of the boat where everybody's waiting for him. And she's going to trap him and she's going to fuck him up the ass in a not a good way. There are wonderful ways to get it up the butt. This is not the way. Oh, she's acting drunk. That's how I walk when I'm sober. Here she goes. Here it comes. She's walking. Here it comes. This is so good. She's acting drunk. She's trying to get him to push him down the stairs. Here comes that dirty, crusty piece of shit. Here it comes. She's chasing justice. The dirty, corrupt white man is chasing justice. Gonna fuck her up. I think my neighbors are mad. They keep banging around. It must be loud or something. Okay. Here comes. Watch this shit. Here comes. Don't worry about my last four digits. You should just do it. I don't know. I want to take your money. Try my PayPal. <laughs> Look, here he comes. Here he comes. That's me after a show. Trying to stumble on. Look, he's looking around. He's going to do it. Here he comes. He's going to do it. Boom. He's grabbing Jessica Fletcher. He's shaking the shit out of her. He's going to, whoa, what the fuck was that? Paparazzi. There's Peppa. There's Jessica. They fucked him over. Look at this. Aha! It's it's hope. Oh my God! It was hope. I didn't know that was hope. They dressed hope up like a. a, a they, they dressed up hope like Anne Murray. <laughs> and Anne Murray, aka Hope, tried to save the day and did. And here we are, y'all. We're back. We're all together again. Everything's okay. And this is the longest conversation I've ever had with anybody out there. 
I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Because we all know we all know what's happening now. Fuck me, turn it down. So I turn it down now. I want y'all to know that what the way this fucking shit ends. Shut up. There we go. Y'all. It means a lot that y'all tuned in for this. It was a very long conversation. But I want everybody to understand out there. That whatever we can do to make everybody feel better, we should do it. As long as it's not like, you know, breaking someone's face or anything like that. Unless they really need it. But that's all. So uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out and for taking care. I want to say thank you to Dave McGill. Dave McGill is the first person who ever introduced me to Murder, She Wrote. We used to do a thing called Murder, She Blunt. And we'd roll a joint and smoke it. And he'd show me one episode at a time until I was watching them all myself. Uh, thank you, Dave. And I uh, got a, a nice uh, hero award going out to my friend Guadalupe Maravilla. Guadalupe Maravilla in Brooklyn is going around the city and he's taking all of the stimulus checks that his friends are donating to him and he's giving them to undocumented families in New York City. So Guadalupe Maravilla, he's a wonderful friend and he's doing that. And I think that that's amazing. And I'm gonna give him some money from all the tips that y'all are giving me. And I'm gonna, if I ever get a stimulus check, I'll give him some of that too. But he's going to undocumented families and he's giving them money in New York City and in Brooklyn, all over, uh, quietly and full of heart. So I love you and you are a champion, Guadalupe. And I'm gonna uh, also thank In Plain Sight. It's an organization of 80 artists creating work to abolish the migrant detention and the, uh, the migrant detention centers and the culture of incarceration. It was formed by my friend Castles and by my friend Rafa Esperanza. And they are uh, starting that in plain sight. And I want to thank also Sarah Gregory for making my tattoo. And um, I'm going to do a post after this with all the information you need to help out people like Guadalupe Maravilla and in plain sight and um, all of those things. And I'll put my Venmo and my PayPal too. I hope everybody out there is doing okay. And I hope y'all are taking care of yourselves. And I hope one day soon or far, after all of this is done, we can see each other again. Until then, make sure you have your medicines. <laughs> make sure you have your money sandwiches. Make sure you have chocolate. Make sure you have murder she wrote. And... And make sure you've got someone who loves you like my Tickles Pickles loves me. And he loves you too because this little fucker is making some money as well. So, oh, he just ate. He's going to puke and shit everywhere. I love y'all so much. I'll be back sometime. I don't know. And I don't know why I win, but I will. Take care of yourselves out there, everybody. Hold on to each other out there. I don't want to push stop because I love somehow being here with you. It feels really good. I hope all y'all had fun in the chat room. And one last time, that's to help me and Tickles Pickles. If they ask for the last four of the digits, just tell them you want to bypass it because I think you can. If not, PayPal me or mail me something. There it is. I love y'all so much and I hate y'all too. Because y'all do this to me so good. Take care. I hope this worked. I'm going to go away now. I love y'all so, so much. And I'm going to sign off with a sweet bye-bye from Murder, She Wrote, and Me. Now I'm going to try to kill. I just, yes, I can't, yes, hold on. And now, I'm going to end it. Bye-bye. I love y'all. I love y'all mostly. Mostly.